give Luigi a run for his money. All three of them. Very actually, Marco has really good matchups. If, recently, like Kirby into Wario into into Luigi. These are all characters that like, if they're in the air, yeah. <laughs> good luck. Yeah. So it's it's really good times for Marco right now. This man is probably doing cartwheels in the background. I wonder if he's gonna do the bomb thing at zero to be out of the range of. Luigi stuff. That's a factor. It's a high risk. It's like a low. It's a, like a. It's a, it's a play too because even if you do escape the zero to death, you still put yourself in risk of Luigi actually still being able to combo you afterwards. So it, it's, it depends on the player and how confident they are in doing so. But it, it is worth doing if you are getting caught by zero to death a lot. But for Marco, I think his game plan and how it's been all night long, it's not really much of a big issue. I mean, he's already escaped the percent range, and he still gets to fight Luigi at a, at a favorable position like so. Then yeah, it'll be fine. Nice. Good for the grab. I like the fact that Marco does an excellent job of like, trying to space himself afterwards because he gets to space himself away from Tornado, Luigi Grab, and Missile. Yeah. He, can punish, yeah, he can punish Luigi all three of those possible ranges he would love to be in. So, pretty good stuff. Nice. Good job. And one of the things about a lot of links that I tried to hopefully see them do is just go for jab. It's a solid boxing option and keep away game. Yeah. Oh. Man, I still wasn't able to follow up from that bomb. Yeah, I think that's the only thing that like I've seen Gaming High get his percent from is like the tornado. <laughs> He's been able to escape a lot of Marco's like projectile confirms by using tornado. Oh no, that was rough too. Marco is definitely playing this matchup so safely. Like, this is like exactly what you want to do against Luigi in this matchup. Yeah. Ooh. Yep, I like the choice of immediately pulling out the bomb. Because even if he gets a grab, there's a chance that uh, the bomb will interrupt the grab combo. Nice. Oh, you definitely don't want to get misfired in that situation. Or you don't want to get grabbed for being greedy with the upbeat. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that, that, that feels terrible. Yeah, you're going to tell Marco's upset. He's on the angel platform for a reason. Yeah, definitely threw that stock away. Trying to go for a fancy play. That was good, that was good, but a little too much, but good stuff to gaming high to recognize, like, oh, I can roll away from the ledge. Getting these uh, Cyclones getting him out of these rough spots. Oh, too late on that. Up oh, smash. No. Yeah. Good call out, good call out. I don't see a world where that, that, that top high tornado was worth anything. Because <laughs> if he, that was way too high. And if he landed, like, that would have been a big punish from Marco. So <laughs> that was really good. Nice. Expected Marco to swing earlier so he would trade. Yeah, I guess so. Like in that situation. Oh my that gosh. Was that was good. Good boomerang with the pressure, too. Oh, Ooh. I really stole that. He stole that. He stole that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing about it because I know Marco stole that. I want to call. <laughs> Damn. I don't even know how he snuck in that four air in that situation. But we'll take it. At this point, I'm pretty sure Marco is telling himself, like, dude, I don't even know how Luigi sneaks in a tornado every time I try to combo him. But hey, man, if I get this forward air, that's cool, man. I'll, I'll take it.
Yeah, so far, man, um, Marco just really knows how to keep Luigi out for the yeah. most part. Like, he only really got super hard punish from grab when he did that crazy up B. Ooh. Oh, that was, that was, uh, dude, did you see that range behind that forest smash? Come on. <laughs> forest smash hitbox is very awkward. I told you, I told you, it's so weird. It's got a lot of mod back that you would expect it to have. And the, the, the sound, the sound that it has is not great. So it's just those three things together, it's like, what? It's like getting hit by violent by forward air. It doesn't sound right, but it hits a lot. Yeah, it's very awkward. Uh... Okay. No, no, that, that was still good, cause you had bomb. Back throw, that'll kill, that'll kill. It's fine. Oh, excuse nope. me. I guess I'm a big fat liar here. Let's go. Cut that person. Now it'll kill, there you go. Second time is the charm, ladies and gentlemen. Marco at 76. If he escapes a grab and at least takes on 30% on uh, gaming high, he's in a really solid spot. Yeah, that nah, doesn't seem to be uh, too far out of the case right now. There it is. That's, that's all Marco needs to do the extra credit homework. That gaming, uh, he's looking kind of lost now he should approach versus Team Link. There's the Cyclone, though. Still good, good DI. DI. Yeah, Marco's consistently DI'd that really well. That one will do it, but. As far as like the initial hits go, from the down throw, he's a DI the appropriate direction every time. Oh, the combo though? Oh, it doesn't get the back air finisher. But still, that's hefty amount of percent. Oh, risky dash attack, but the boomerang is there to save his life. Oh, that was good, that was good. He threw the bomb to cover a lot of options there, and tried to see if he could see a grab within the range of the Luigi would try to escape. Again, uh, Marco always tries to have a bomb at low percent next to Luigi. Yeah. Because he wants to make it the third of the grab as much as possible. And uh, Gaming just fishing for grab at low percent repeatedly. So if he messes up going for the grab, like Marco gets a free bomb follow up. Oh, caught him shielding too long. I thought that was going to be a down throw of B, honestly. Ooh, nice air dodge through the grab. Nice, covering the roll, but no follow-up. Oh. Gaming, playing around the bomb setups pretty well here. Oh. Cyclone is gonna mess with the GI this time? No, still gets it right. Wow. Even when it goes the direction that he hasn't gotten sick yet. Nice. Hold down to get the hit of the hero spin out. Watch out for the boomerang. Oh, you're slipping. He's living, bro. That was fresh. in the dream. Oh my god. It's a gaining moment. Yeah. Gaming high is living on 124 percent of the game, like I said. Oh, Marco knows too. Like in the projectile war, totally wins easy. Good, good to talk to the boomerang. Yeah, look at the oh, that was clean. That was clean. I was gonna say because boomerang goes under the stage, and because of that reason, on the way back, that was good for Marco to toss it away. I was trying to finish saying that sentence, but Marco just beat me to the stock. That was really good. That's one thing that I tell everybody. Like, <laughs> all three links are ridiculous, man. <laughs> but to, the fact that the bomb goes under, sorry, the boomerang goes under the stage on its way back and allowed Marco to get that cheeky confirm. Well, the thing that made that good, actually, was um, 
not just the boomerang, but the fact that Michael intentionally with the grab, so yeah, uh, Gaming would try to run at him and forget about the boomerang. That was that was the biggest brain trap like he's done all night. <laughs> yeah, that was actually stupidly smart. Oh, he caught the bump. So oh, he's, he's, good, he's good. He's good. Still so took like 66 though. It's kind of like kind of feels bad when you find the reason you're like, okay, well, I didn't die, but I'm gonna die in two hits now. <laughs> yeah, or a back air. All, I was gonna say Biohazard, all three links are great. All three of them are great. None of them are the worst. In my opinion, I love regular Link because he's Breath of the Wild Link, but all three links are great. Yeah, they're all good. I personally think, um, Link is the best out of all three, but yeah, they're all you can you can win with all three of them. Yeah, all three of them you can win with. I think the character that requires the most tech skill out of all three is actually Link because he has um he has basically what's walk what's Fox Wave Shine with Z drop bomb attack cancels. So he's pretty ridiculous if you're able to pull those off. You can literally Fox Wave Shine your opponent from zero to death. This is actually the first game in a long time where all three links are viable and in the same game. It's the only game. Yeah. <laughs> the only game where all of them. I'm actually really impressed what they were able to do with uh, Young Link and Toon Link in this game because I always just figured that like Toon Link is just like replacement for Young Link. That's why he's the way he is. But. They did a good job of just making Young Link and Toon Link feel different from each other. Yeah. And still both being competitively viable characters. Really like what he's doing with the bomb here. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, the boomerang wasn't able to get him out of there, but gaming slightly messing up the combo. Yeah, not getting the downer to spike really working out Marco's favor. Oh, watch out! He wanted to smash for him. Not out of it yet for Marco. 105 to 38. This is giving him his game to lose, but he's doing an excellent job of like trying to like stay within range with Marco so he can actually contest with him with aerials and call him out for jumping like that. Like you can see that yeah. I was gonna say, like he's doing a solid job of that. Like you can see he wanted to back at him for chucking up the ledge, he wanted to up smash at him for like going for an aerial. So he gaming high had kind of like caught up to see what Marco's game plan was and then just stay close to him and then punish him for like out of shield options. Which is something that you can do against every link, because that's usually the, the case. Yeah, most links, maybe with the exception of uh, Young Link, they tend to jump a lot to get their setups going. Like full hop jump, to where you can punish a uh, landing pretty well. Wow, forward smash, boomerang, forward smash. I think gaming's biggest thing. Oh wow, I killed. Oh my goodness. Never mind what I was gonna say. It doesn't matter. <laughs> 
That's unfortunate. Definitely don't think Marco expected to be get, getting punished for doing a downer like that. Yeah. But uh, really good for gaming to recognize that wasn't a safe move to go for. But yeah, I think gaming's biggest issue is uh, the use of Cyclone, really. Marco's yeah. not baiting out as hard. He should, but... yeah. He was doing a pretty solid job of like challenging it before he started it or just baiting it and punishing afterwards. But he has been being a little bit too aggressive. I feel like Mark kind of just slows down himself down a little bit. That was good, that was good. He didn't get up attack, so Marco could just punish that. Clean 31%. Excuse me, Marco. I'm sorry. I, I doubted you for a second. I'm just, surprised. I'm just surprised he went for yeah another down here. They worked, but like after dying to it the first time, I, I wouldn't want to go for it again. I think Marco's doing talk cancels on his like fresh stock. Mm -hmm. Let's see if gaming will you know get hit by it. But it's not working. That would be was costly. Oh no. Yeah, that would be was costly. Crazy costly. He should have gone for regular up and he would have been fine. Might have been missing, but if he plays a tap jump. After he says Link has sick bomb play, Young Link has nasty combos and spam, and Link has the best neutron of all of them. Hmm. It's kind of hard for me to agree. I can't say that because, like, I can't say I agree because I haven't used all three. But I will definitely say, like, Link with good neutral, just regular Link, with the wall Link in this case, with good neutral, like, that character is really scary to deal with. <laughs> like, take it, like, he's so hard to deal with. Like, that's yeah, with good neutral. Moves. Yeah, like, he's a threat on the stage, he's a threat off the stage, <laughs> like, all three of them are, are really ridiculous. I think the only thing about all three of them that may suffer is that the fact that Young Link really requires you to get a combo off of a, not really much of a tech chase, but a projectile chase in this case. Where if he doesn't get a projectile and he doesn't get the stock, then he will just have a hard time killing. That's the only area in which I feel Young Link really fails in is he doesn't get kills off of straight hits versus Toon Link and Young Link. I'm sorry, Toon Link and Link, they actually can get kills off straight hits. Yeah, sure. And still combo. <laughs> so that's that's kind of what makes those two characters, you know, fit in. I think I think between Toon Link and Young Link, Toon Link may just accelerate just a little bit more in terms of like, okay, I'm playing neutral, so therefore, you know, I can still kill you. But Young Link is like, I have to play this combo game. And if I go back to neutral, there's only so much I can do to win, except to try to out come up. Nonetheless, I think what Marco has to do here is speak of the devil, kind of just stick to playing neutral and also just do what he did earlier the last two games, which is call out gaming high for those usual Luigi habits. Yeah. I'm very surprised that uh, gaming's able to deal with the way with as many cyclones as he does so far. Mm -hmm. It's kind of Marco's fault. Like he was in the prime position, man, to just take it all the way home into like he's kind of just letting gaming high just adapt to him. I wouldn't say for free, but like adapt to him and just see like, okay, you're not punishing this, like, and therefore I can like push my advantage. That's rough. I'm sorry, the fact that Link's forward tilt extended his for his hurt box that he was able to grab him. Yeah, and that was the first time he died to cycling like that too. Yeah, that's ridiculous, I'm sorry. That's... Oh, he didn't want the jab there. That was a 
Boring up smash. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, he punished him for going for an aerial. That was good. Marco's just setting up like the mind field right now. Like, please just stay away from me. <laughs> hey, yo, man, keep that social distancing on check, bro. Six feet away, please. At all times. For real, though. Oh, it's Magnum on that. Jump with the back air. Luckily, he has a bomb to alleviate some ledge pressure, but yeah, he's. Taking a lot of percent. Again, he's holding down on the up B. Exactly what he needed to get back some type of stage control. Yeah. Oh. Okay, no roll. Gonna, yeah, no, no roll towards. Why would. I think, I think that was good on gaming high, but he has to give Marco a little bit more credit. Why would he roll to disadvantage <laughs> when he has so much stage control? Sometimes people get so scared of Luigi that they just instinctively roll and yeah. then they get caught by that. Still yeah. living. If Stop you guys like roll. It's funny. Yeah. I tell everybody, if you have a roll habit, at least try to stop it. But also, if you can't stop it, just ask yourself, if I'm rolling, don't roll at disadvantage. You never want to do that. That was a bit, though. Alright. Last stock for both players in game 5. Definitely pretty even. I think what Marco has to keep doing is like that just go play, but also like once again keep that six feet away from Luigi so he can punish him. He did a really good job of like tossing projectiles, force Luigi to go for an option, and then punish him afterwards, and then pretty much whiff punish Luigi. But now it's starting to look like gaming high is kind of whiff punishing Marco, and also like he stays within a close enough range to punish Marco after the shield. Oh. Let's get the bomb from the ledge. It's a really good way to get back to the stage. Oh, oh that was going to DI the guy. He DI out to avoid dying to the cyclone thing, but rolls into the F smash. Hate to see it. Buddy, what was. Marco, Marco, Marco. What was that play, my friend? You have every projectile in the 